Graham, it's been a few weeks since the end of the Six Nations. What's your overall assessment of how your pack went now you've had time to sit back and reflect on it? I was disappointed, really, um, that we didn't win it. Not just the Six Nations, but the Grand Slam. We could have won all, all the games. And, you know, certainly we, we, left, we left some points out there on the field in many games. But just looking at the overall development and where we're getting to, I'm pleased with where we are. Not pleased with the results that we didn't win it, but pleased with where we are and how we're developing. You look at key personnel and key combinations uh, within the forward pack, and the way we're playing as well, the way we've able to move teams around, carry the ball, and attack people in that way as well as set piece. And I've been pleased with our breakdown as well. But you know, as I said before, the key units like the line out with Courtney and Joe, and Courtney taking on that responsibility. You've been ably assisted by Ed Slater and uh, Dave Atwood on match days as well. You know, it's great because you've got the likes of Corbs out and we've got the likes of Jeff Parling and Tom Croft out as well. So the way the guys have developed within the Six Nations pleases me. How do the individuals that you mentioned there that have had good Six Nations, how do they go to the next level now? And how tough will it be to do that in New Zealand? They've all got to go to the next level. I think what we have shown is what we can be. Um, but as I keep... Tell the lads it's consistency, consistency under pressure and under duress in a big game, delivering quality ball at scrum and line out and doing the right thing with the ball and good breakdown ball as well. It's, it's doing that under pressure in the big arenas. You know, there's be no better place to go than New Zealand to test that out. So it's a benchmark. Is there, is there a sense that there's nothing to lose or is, the, is it an acid test of where you are as a team? Oh, it's an acid test of where we are. You know, as a group, as a coaching group, we spoke about this tour for a long time, you know, just over a year out from the World Cup. We've got the group of players we want to work with, given that there's a few people still to come in. And we want to test ourselves against the best and go out there and win and get used to winning and get used to the pressures that that will bring. What are the specific demands of a back-to-back of a -back three test series? Against the world champions. <laughs> it's tough. It's backing up from the physical demands of, of, of a test these days. You know, certainly after a tough game on a Saturday, we can't do much with them until, until Tuesday at the earliest in terms of uh, physically. So backing up from tough games and uh, mentally as well, adjusting to those pressure games, but that's part of them developing and growing up. People, a lot of people in this country watch the Super 15 and they get excited by the free-flowing style of it. What do you have to get right up front to beat New Zealand? The components are the same as any any big game. You've got to have immaculate basics. But more than ever, it's the breakdown that will dictate the game. As I've always said, there's more breakdowns than anything. But it's one area of the game that has received special attention from us in terms of our attacking breakdown and our defensive breakdown. But that has got to be very good against a team like New Zealand, who are just exceptional in that area. So you're going to have good basics, uh, but um, an even better breakdown.